delivery suite at Colchester Hospital is busy and noisy and not the right place for parents going through a stillbirth. On the floor above, I meet bereavement midwife Katie. So this is our rosemary suite. Um, this is a self-contained unit and it's away from the main delivery suite area and it's away from the postnatal ward. Okay, You've got the living room um, and then you've got the bedroom. Um, it's an area that the parents can stay in for as ever, however long they like. Um, we've also got the cuddle cot, which is a really important piece of equipment within bereavement care because it allows the parents those extra few days with those with their baby because it actually cools the baby down. The baby can just stay in there as long as they wish really. It's a time and a place to make memories. Parents are supported through practicalities too, the post-mortem, death registration, the funeral. But not every maternity unit has a suite or properly trained staff yet. Colchester's MP Will Quince, who used the space when his son Robert was stillborn, is fighting to change that. I didn't come into politics uh, thinking I was going to be a baby loss awareness campaigner and like so many in this field it was a personal tragedy that led me to it but I'm actually really proud of the work that we've done. We've set up an all-party parliamentary group. We've now got the government to give commitments in terms of reducing stillbirth 20% by 2020 and in half by 2025 and we're seeing improvements around uh, bereavement care across the country and now launch the National Bereavement Care Pathway. That means a proper plan for every family, both in hospital and when they go home. What we want to do with the pathway is join, join everything up so that the parents are the absolute heart of the care that's being given and that everybody holds them with kindness all the way through. Last week, the government agreed funding to roll it out across England, a welcome step after years of inconsistent care.